Hello guys, we are back and uh, I want to start this episode with a, with a couple of notes uh, I wanted to make. Um, first of all, the, the, the four episodes you saw last uh, yesterday or before, whenever you saw them, um, were actually the first time I was playing the game and uh, I want to keep it as much as possible fresh and uh, sort of blind if you want, um, but I, I I know I can't really keep it that way all the time because uh, the let's play is gonna uh, take slower to play than uh, than my wish to actually play the game. So I have another character that I will be playing with as well. Uh, I will try to avoid the things that I would do with this character, but um, uh, but yeah, some things will overlap. Uh, so far, we're, the only thing I've done with my other character is I've gone down this road a little bit till we reach some guardian stones down there. And that is all. That is all I've done with my other character. So it's still a very fresh, very blind uh, let's play. Now, another thing. I'm going to be following this guy, by the way. Uh, I noticed that he says uh, we should split up, but he actually waits for you. And I, I actually liked... He sort of talks about uh, the road down to... To um, whatever the name of the village is. Now, uh, whatever. The village we're supposed to go to. Right, so another thing I want to ask you is what do you guys think about the length of my videos? Uh, I, I did the last few videos uh, about 10 minutes long because I wanted to, uh, you know, upload them as quick as possible and, um, uh, you know, ha have, have some chapters out by the first day. Uh, but, uh, but I actually found it quite convenient. They're very quick to upload. They... Uh, if, if they fail, which one of the episodes actually did fail to upload, uh, it's not a big deal as if it's a 20 minute episode. So I actually quite liked it, but uh, I still want to know what you guys think. If I should keep my episodes between 10 and 15 minutes, or between 15 and 20 minutes, which is pretty much what I've had before in my Let's Plays. You should go to Solitude and join up with the Imperial Legion. We could really use someone like you. And if the Rebels have themselves a dragon, General Tullius is the only one who can stop them. Oh, I don't think it's the rebels that have a dragon. Um, let, let's just pick a few flowers while we're on the, on the way. Um, right, so uh, so yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, if, if I do them 10 minutes long, then or you know 10 to 15 minutes, I will I will upload them more often. It's not it's not like um, like it's gonna be uh, less Skyrim. Per day or something like that. It's just it's just a different format. Uh, so let me know. Right. Another thing uh, is that, uh, as you've noted, uh, my idea is to make a, a sort of interactive let's play. This is something I haven't tried before, so it's very experimental. I uh, I ask you to have patience with me on how this works. Uh, I will try to make uh, sort of breaks in the let's play and ask you guys. Uh, what I should do next. Uh, make a few options on, uh, for example, say at this point I would ask you if, should we go to uh, this dungeon, Bleak uh, Falls Barrow, or should we go to the village? Now I, I don't ask you, I'm not asking you this now because I'm actually going to, to go to the village, but uh, some other points I might I might give you this, this uh, questions. And uh, I also want to know what you think about that. Uh, uh, it's um, it means that the, the Let's Play is going to have a slower pace than the ones I've had before. Especially especially The Witcher 2, which had a pretty pretty fast pace. Uh, because I'll have to wait for answers, basically, uh, on what I do. And, uh, yeah, then there was one final thing, yeah, right. And that is about the main quest. This is actually a question I'm asking you guys right away. I want to know if you guys want me to do the main quest or not. In terms of roleplay, I think I can uh, justify make, doing the main quest. Uh, where the hell did he go? Don't run ahead. Did he, did he get tired of waiting for me? Oh no, here he is. Okay, we missed the dialogue. He says something about, about the Guardian Stones down here. Wait for me, all right? Cool. And you actually get an achievement when you when you activate one of these. This is the only achievement you haven't seen. Uh, so so far we've got two achievements: one for leaving the dungeon and one for getting one of the garden stones. So here I'm gonna grab the mage one. 
No, actually no. I'm gonna grab the thief one. These basically uh, mean that you, you will get, uh, well as you can see, 20% uh, faster the skills. Thief skills. Ah, this looks so cool. I love the sound of this. It really sounds like it's, you know, exploding with magic. So yeah, you can only have one of these activated at the same time and um, and yeah, uh, you can change them at, at, at will. Whenever you go back here, I can I can change uh, another without without any penalty. So yeah, what I was saying, um, uh, should I do the main quest or not? Uh, I think uh, you know we, we could justify making uh, doing it as a bad character because obviously as a necromancer, I would want to know what the hell is up with the dragons as well. Because I mean, imagine the, the amount of power there is with with dragons. Dragons have been you know, the magical creatures of the ages, so obviously I would want to know how I can harness this power. But on the other hand, uh, this doesn't really affect me. I don't really care if the dragons go burn down villages or stuff like that. It even gives me a sort of an opportunity uh, to um, to wreak my own havoc. Uh, so uh, I want you guys to decide if I should do the main quest or not. It's also something that I think a lot of Let's Players are doing, the main quest. So uh, if you want to see something different, that might be uh, your suggestion to not do the main quest and just do some some other, you know, this, guild quest or stuff like I'm that. As far as I'm concerned, you've already earned your pardon. But until we get that confirmed by General Tullius, just stay clear of other Imperial soldiers and avoid any complications, alright? Fair enough. What the hell is that? She doesn't I'm seem Back off. too friendly. You picked a bad time to get lost, friend. Um. Okay, I, I got a bit distracted there. Uh, but yeah, that was all I wanted to to talk to you guys about uh, before uh, moving it on. Moving on. Uh, so you can see, we actually get to sort of choose between the two main factions, or not factions, the two main sides of the story very early in the game, and that is uh, between the Stormcloaks and the Imperials. Um, the Stormcloaks are basically the rebels. They want to uh, uh, they want to overthrow the the, the Imperial uh, gov uh, government that is ruling Tamriel, and uh, have Skyrim independence, while uh, the Imperials, well, they just with me. want to keep Riverwood. the way things were. And uh, yes, uh, I did a very quick choice with the Imperials. You can change your, your decision. So far nothing is set in stone, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with the Imperials. I think I've said this before, but uh, yeah, I think they fit better the character. Um, I think I can manipulate them to my will easier. Alright, one more thing before we go into Riverwood. I uh, actually uh, went through the skills um, that we have available here. And um, I sort of did a quick, in my head, pick of the skills I want to focus on. Uh, because uh, it's, a good, it's a good idea to have a sort of a plan in advance. We can't really spread out our skills too much. Um, so basically this is what I will be focusing on and um, uh, and I, w I won't be putting skill points in any of the other trees, at least not to begin with. Uh, we'll see how this uh, works eventually. So we have Conjuration, this is an obvious one, this is our main skill tree. Uh, has to do with all the summoning and necromancy stuff. And then we have... Um, no, not speech, what am I saying? Uh, pickpocket, pickpocket, uh, lock picking, sneaking, which are my, I guess, my main thief uh, skills. So we skip all the armor. One-handed, which is our dagger, our dagger skills. Uh, then enchanting. I, I picked enchanting because I think it's a pretty cool mechanic, and uh, I think it fits a necromancer. Um, and finally, uh, what was the other one? What was the other one? 
illusion, there we go. Uh, which is the one that sort of controls the minds of enemies. Uh, this actually means that we don't have much of in terms of aggressive spells. Things look quiet. Uh, our aggressive side we have to be with There's our daggers own. and I guess our minions. We'll see how that works. If that doesn't work too Uncle well, then Hello. I, I guess I could put some points in, in the structure what? and, uh, and what are you doing here? use some frost are spells and stuff like that. Shores, bones. What happened to you, boy? Shh, are you in Uncle, some kind please. of trouble? Keep your voice down. I'm fine, but we should go inside to talk. What's going on? And who's this? He's a friend. Saved my life, in fact. Come on, I'll explain everything, but we need to go inside. Okay, okay, come inside then. Sigrid will get you something to eat, and you can tell me all about it. A dragon! I saw a dragon! What? What is it now, Mother? It was as big as the mountain and black as night. It, it flew right over the barrel. Dragons now, is it? Please, Mother. If you keep on like this, everyone in town will think you're crazy. And I've got better things to do than listen to more of your friends. Okay. Right, so this is, this, this is uh, something I've never seen before. I mean, I've seen this village in the demo, but uh, in terms of content, I have no idea what's going to happen.